fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. The fountain of life oh, is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. Again, whosoever drink, he shall never, never test again. Whosoever drink, he shall never, never test again. <sighs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. You are welcome back to this channel. Thank you, everyone, for visiting this channel. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by in this channel. May God bless you. You see the song I just sang? He said that the fountain of life is flowing everywhere. What is the meaning of the fountain of life? Salvation. Righteousness. Holiness. Jesus Christ said in the book of John. Let's read please. In the book of John 4 verse 14. It says, But whosoever drink the water that i will give him will never be thirsty again the water that i will give him will become in him a spring which will provide him with life-giving water and give him eternal rest eternal life are you ready my brothers and sisters to drink of this water that jesus christ is giving to us the water that will give you internal rest, the water that will give you salvation, the water of righteousness, the water of holiness, the water of love, the water of faith in God. Come and drink of this water. Come and drink of this water of salvation. Come and drink of this water. Come and drink from this water of holiness. This water that Jesus Christ is talking about here is the salvation of our soul. How are you living your life? Are you drinking from the water of darkness? Are Many of us are drinking from the water of the enemy. What do I mean with this? Many of us are living outside the word of God. Many of us are doing that which that pleases us but we are not doing what God wants us to do we are not walking in the way of God we are not walking in the way of salvation any man who walk outside the way of God we go we go to the lake of fire we end up in hell do you want to end up in hell do you want your soul to be tormented at the last day Repent, my friends, repent, my brothers, re repent, my sisters. Turn away from every area of your life that you know that is not pleasant to God and give your life to Christ Jesus. Because in Him, you will have life. In Him, you will have rest. In Him, you will have all that you desire, according to His righteousness. Come and drink from this water, the water of life the water of salvation, the water of eternal rest. Give your life to Christ Jesus. The time you have is now. The Bible says that tomorrow will be too late. Anything that you are doing that you know is not of the will of God in your life, repent, give your life to Christ Jesus, and receive eternal rest. Behold, behold, there is God. Some people may be saying, ah, what is she saying? There is no God. There is no God. Now, anything you do here on earth, you will suffer for it. If you do good, you will suffer here. If you do bad, you will suffer here. It's a lie. It's a pure lie. If, if there is no God, that is to say, this Bible is lying. Jesus Christ said, He said, I am going to prepare a place for you. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I couldn't have told you. Have you ever one day asked yourself, 
all these things, how am I functioning? How did my mother and my father give birth to me? Is it just with my mother and my father coming together and there is more to it? Those are mysteries that we will never understand. If really you want to know if, if there is God or not, as a Christian, go into God with prayer and fasting. Tell him to reveal himself to you. Stop living your life anyhow. Stop living as if you are the one who created yourself. Stop living as if there is no God. Stop living as if you will not end up in uh, being judged after, uh, after this life is over. This life that we are is not the end. The end is after when we are dead. That is, that is the end, not here. Anyhow you live your life, according to the word of God, you will be judged by it. If you live good, you will be judged by it. If you live bad, you will be judged by it. Stop living, stop living a bad life and give your life to Christ Jesus. Do you want to end up in eternal destruction? Do you want to end up in pain? Do you want to end up in tears? Have you ever imagined how, how hellfire is going to be? Because sometimes I sit down and ask myself a question. How is this place going to be? How is our life? How is our life after death going to be? You know, that makes me to really want to give my life to God. Even every day. That makes me want to give my life to God even the more. You know? Ask yourself a question. When I die, where will I be? Your soul must definitely be in somewhere. Like the Bible said. He says that for, 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 for seed to germinate, you have to bury it. And this seed will bring forth fruit. That is an example, a good example of our life. This flesh that you are seeing, this is not you. This is not me. We have, we have someone inside us and that is our soul. This is what God is going to judge, not this flesh. This flesh is the one that is going to die and they bury it. The real you, the real you, that is you that is talking. It's, this flesh is not the one that is talking, but it's the real you that is inside you. That is the one that is talking. That is the one that is, that is going to be judged. This flesh, this flesh is not you. Stop focusing on this flesh and focus on your soul. The one that is inside of you. This flesh is just a clothes that is covering our soul. Stop focusing on your flesh. Some people that will do anything to make sure that this flesh is okay. Why can't you do anything, anything possible to make that to make sure that your soul is okay? To make sure that your soul doesn't end up in internal destruction. For God to be God, He must pass through the furnace. He must pass through fire. So for we to meet Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you must go through salvation. He said that I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one goes to the Father except through me. You cannot say that, yes, I want to go to God, but I do not pass through Jesus Christ. You must pass through Jesus Christ before you meet his Father. Come to me, all you that are weary and heavy loaded, and I will give you rest, says Jesus. There is no thing, that, there is no situation that is too hard for God to do. There is no sin that is too hard for God to, 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 to cleanse. No matter how your sin is, he said that though you may be dark like charcoal, like you may be dark, your sin may be dark. He said, but I will wash you to be whiter than snow. You may be saying, I have done a lot in my life. Are you sure that he will forgive me? Are you sure that he will have mercy? Yes, I'm here to tell you boldly and comfortably that he will have mercy. He is a merciful God. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for our sin. If he don't love you, he, he couldn't have given you his only son. The Bible says his only begotten son. That is to say he has no other son but Jesus Christ. He gave him to the world. He gave him to the world to kill. He gave him to the world to make mockery of him. He gave him to the world to die on the cross, to pass through so many, so many pain, just because 
of this love he has for me and you to bring us more closer to him. Why won't he forgive you? He will forgive you no matter what you have done wrong against him. But you will, do, you will make sure after he has forgiven you, you will not do it again. Not that you will say, ah, he is a merciful father. He is a merciful God. When I, when I sin today, I will go to him for mercy. He will forgive you. Then tomorrow again, you will still continue with the same sin. He will forgive you. The Bible said that shall we continue in sin so that grace will abide? He said, God forbid. No. Stop taking advantage of his mercy. Stop taking advantage of his love. Give your li life to Jesus and remain so. One little thing like this now, you will end up in hell. You say, okay, let me go and do it now. I have time to repent. Let me go and uh, sin, sin, uh, sin. I have time to repent. What if on your way to that sin, something strategy happened? You will go from there. Your life will go from there. And you didn't have chance to give your life to Jesus Christ. You will just end up in hell. So all your salvation before we go, all your righteousness before we go, just try your possible best. Live in the way of God. Live in the righteousness of God. You will not regret it because at the end, we will meet him. At the end, we will inherit that, that mansion that he said he has gone to prepare for us. Our soul will find peace. Our soul will find internal rest. I pray for God to give us the grace to follow Him. For God to give us the grace to remain faithful to Him. For God to give us the grace to walk to the way that leads to internal rest. May the Holy Spirit of God always direct our footsteps. May the Holy Spirit of God always lead us on the right path. I want to beg you everyone. I want to beg you my brothers and my sisters. Whichever thing you know, search yourself, search your heart. You know when you are doing wrong. You will, you, you know, you, you know deep inside your heart anytime you do wrong. Please, stop doing it. Anything you know that is not of the will of God, stop doing it and fully give your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to say a very big thank you for watching this video. I want to say a very big thank you visiting my channel once more may god bless you may god give you the grace to follow him may god give you the grace to walk in his righteousness thank you all and remain blessed i hope to see you again on my next video please don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share may god bless you all remain blessed in jesus name amen <laughs>